continues to soar higher in the region. Well, like I mentioned to you, today we'll be talking about taxation in Kenya and to help us unpack the issue of taxing the digital economy, you know, bringing Dr. Mohammed uh, Omar, who is the Commissioner in Charge of Strategy, Innovation and Risk Management at the Kenya Revenue Authority. And of course, uh, the taxman has been able to spearhead uh, key reforms in uh, trying to diversify how they get revenue. And one of the areas is the digital economy. Perhaps talk to us about uh, some of the milestones you can say KRA has been able to achieve along the line. Okay, uh, thanks, Abi. Uh, the digital economy succession, uh, taxation is already provided for mm -hmm. in the Kenyan law. Uh, the Tax Procedures Act has a provision for that, the Income Tax Act, the VAT. In terms of the, the transactions that go through and uh, that, that are accrued within Kenya. Now, with respect to the digital, I mean, if we just give you the context, mm -hmm. the numbers are big, as you know. Yeah. Uh, especially in other countries, there might be the use of CAD and other means and e-commerce. They are there here, but in terms of mobile platform and the transactions that are going through the mobile avenue, mm -hmm. those ones are big. Yeah. Just to give you the numbers, in 2017, mm -hmm. Uh, the, the value of mobile transaction in Kenya was 3.2 trillion. 2018, it was 6 trillion. Wow. We've got and 30. It's going up. By it's the going day. up. Uh -huh. That is like 100% mm. increase. Uh, 30, 30 million subscribers. Mm -hmm. So I think this is an area where we are now uh, looking at uh, in terms of now expanding. It was there in terms of excise mm -hmm. on certain transactions, uh, mobile-based transactions. Correct. What we are doing is part of our strategy mm -hmm. is now to expand the tax base. So the digital economy uh, comes in through that. That is one of the big strategies that we are looking at. Mm -hmm. We've been successful in ensuring that uh, 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 the, 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 the players that are there, uh, to some extent, e-commerce players, mobile transactions, uh, are taxed, but what we are trying to do is expand the scope by now introducing a certain, uh, the Treasury has been able to introduce a certain certain bills mm -hmm. to enhance that. Uh, and globally, this is a trajectory that, the growth tra trajectory that we are looking at, mm. and more specifically in the region and in Kenya. Interesting. And uh, Dr. Ari, a lot of promise in uh, the digital economy. We're also seeing uh, various companies uh, having a presence in Kenya. We have Facebook, we have Uber. And uh, of course, we also have young Kenyans who are developing uh, various uh, initiatives and uh, inventions that somehow don't get to catch the eye of the taxman. What's your strategy, especially when it comes to taxing this uh, emerging uh, niche in the economy? Yeah. And how do you go about it? Because you don't also want to have punitive taxes that instead of nurturing innovation, they destroy. OK. Uh, I think we've been looking at uh, other contexts as well. I mean, globally, this is a discourse that is going mm -hmm. on in the OECD and other countries. Most countries have introduced a certain percentage mm -hmm. for digital tax. Uh, for us, of course, we need to balance between encouraging uh, young people to be entrepreneurs, to, to have startups, and to prosper. Mm -hmm. At the same time, mm -hmm. we need to ensure that there is a, we share the... We, there's, there's, everybody shares the burden mm -hmm. in terms of taxation. Mm -hmm. I think that is the balancing act that is going on at the, at the moment. Okay. But the, the law is very specific. Any value accrued or derived in Kenya, that is the Income Tax Act, yeah. is deemed to have been earned here, to have been created here, that value. Mm. So what we are doing is, with respect to multinationals, the law allows for specifically the uh, Tax Procedures Act. Mm. If they don't have a presence here, but customers in Kenya are buying through their platforms, yeah. they can have tax representatives. Mm -hmm. uh, we are currently engaging the industry players in terms of ensuring that we've got a digital tax provider. All right. We've had a number of sessions with them to ensure that, first of all, uh, there's stakeholder consultation in terms of what we are trying to do, mm -hmm. and two, to also create the buy-in and eventually uh, uh, have the capability KRA has come a long way in terms of the use of technology. Mm -hmm. So that is going to help. I previously argued that if you want to tax the digital economy, mm -hmm. you must first be digital yourself. Correct. And in doing that, as you know, both customs mm -hmm. and tax administration in terms of domestic taxes, mm -hmm. we've come a long way in, the, in infusing technology. 
All right. with respect to the way we go about tax administration. Amazing. And finally, Dr. Ari, in less than a minute, I just want to pick your mind. If KRA gets it right, how significant will this be in terms of netting in uh, revenue that was perhaps missing the net of the taxman? It's going to be huge mm. because digital economy encompasses all sectors. We, we, you mentioned a few, you Uber, Google and the rest, but if you look at all the sectors, the one you mentioned is transform, uh, transportation sector. Yes. Digital economy is now encompassing the, re the retail sector, all right. the health sector. Mm -hmm. uh, we are using it for insurance, for payments uh, across uh, transactions between person to person mm. to in businesses. So it's going to be huge. And the numbers tell it all. I talked about 3.2 mm -hmm. in 2017 in terms of trillion and 6 trillion in 2018. Okay. And the growth is exponential. So for us, digital economy is going to be a game changer in terms of taxation. And our goal is to be able to use technology so that we are able to tax at source. All right. As you do your transaction, mm -hmm. there's no hassle at all. Mm. The, the, the proportion of tax is remitted. Okay. Seamlessly. Seamlessly. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Mohammed. Thank you. We really appreciate your insights and uh, we should definitely have another session with you once 